Ohio is a, just a great place to live. It's booming. It's revitalized. Things are happening here. Well, I love it here. There's so much to see and do. And it's so exciting to be here and to be an Ohioan. <laughs> Light years different than it was even a few years ago. It just goes faster and faster. It just feels like there's always something new or exciting to do. Watching that video, and, and we've had it for uh, just a few days here, but it makes me feel really good about what is possible uh, in the state of Ohio, what's happening, what can happen, and um, I'm really happy uh, that you are all here today to join us. Um, when investors are looking uh, for a place to put their money, we want them to think of Ohio. Investment in Ohio leads to strong local communities, and many Ohio communities currently have experienced some exciting growth since the recovery. The program for qualified opportunity zones was part of the federal tax reform legislation in 2017, and the goal of the program is to drive investment in rural and low-income urban communities that have not seen the post-recession recovery that has happened in other communities. And nobody knows your local community better than the people who live, work, and govern there. From the beginning of the program, the state has worked closely with local communities. The 320 qualified opportunity zones were chosen by people in this room, areas you identified as having high potential for new investment, development, and job creation. The opportunity zones incentive will let investors reduce and postpone taxes on profits from stocks, businesses, and investment partnerships by reinvesting that money in one of the low-income communities designated as qualified opportunity zones. And it's so much more than just the potential for strong return on their investment. Perhaps most importantly, the Federal Opportunity Zone legislation requires an investment of 10 years. That's a decade to realize the maximum benefit. And that means that local communities have the support of benefactors for the long term. Communities like yours are taking this opportunity seriously. And today we will showcase what's happening in seven of Ohio's communities, because I never underestimate the value of learning from smart people. We have three video showcases, communities that are taking you on a tour of their opportunity zones, and three other communities will present their vision today to you live for their opportunity zones. Then we'll hear from my good friend, Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther, about how they engage the people who live in their opportunity zones. So through today's event, we want you to do four things. One, see the possibilities. See the possibilities for how you can market your opportunity zones. Two, I want you to think like an investor. 
You're going to hear from a panel of investors that each are going that each are going at a different way. You can see the range of possibilities, and today you'll hear about investors that want to mix in doing well with doing good in local communities through revitalizing urban and rural areas facing economic challenges. It is a perfect match. Three, we definitely want you to do it right. So our panel of professional advisors on taxes and tax incentives, real estate and other investments will share the information you need to make sure that your project fits with investors' needs. And finally, with opportunity zones all over the country, we're all competing for the same investment dollars, and I want you to learn today about Ohio's edge and be a part of what sets Ohio apart and what gives us the advantage. Well, before we get underway, uh, just a bit of housekeeping. One, please make sure your cell phones are on silent. Two, we have a program chocked full of information for you, and we certainly don't want you to miss a thing. So you should know that today's program is being recorded, and you can reference it later or refer someone else from your economic development team to our website. Feel free, uh, if you need to uh, or you want to, to get up and get some water and, or coffee, visit the facilities at any time during the program. If you have a question during the presentation, please ask through Twitter using the hashtag OpZonesOhio, that's O-P-P Zones Ohio, and our answers will be posted there and cached so that you can go back later and search the hashtag to see all of the answers to all of the questions. That way, you won't miss a thing. And finally, we will also have Facebook Live segments with additional question and answer sessions. And this was really set up for those investors who were not able to be with us in Ohio today to participate. They will be available for you to watch after the showcase on Facebook at Ohio Development. So let's get started. Since the federal government first created the Opportunity Zones designation, Governor Mike DeWine saw the economic impact this program could bring to Ohio. Please join me in welcoming Governor Mike DeWine to share that vision. Lydia, thank you very much. You know, our director just doesn't have enough enthusiasm, does she? Fired up. Uh, you know, I, Ohio's greatness really lies in our cities, our villages, uh, our, our, our communities. And in our administration, that's how we are trying to approach things. Uh, we understand if things happen, they happen in the local community. If they don't happen, it's in, it's in, in the local community. Um, I'm excited about uh, what's been put together today. I'm even more excited about uh, the prospects that we have with, with Opportunity Zones in the state of Ohio. Uh, as you will hear, we are enhancing the Opportunity Zones in Ohio. We're taking the federal law and, and we're going in our budget that we propose, we take it one step further to make it more enticing, we hope, for, for people to put money uh, in, into our opportunity centers and zones in, in the state of Ohio. Um, let me say something about the, the director, because uh, she's put today together. Um, one of the main reasons I picked her is because she was a mayor. Uh, she was a mayor of a, a mid-sized city uh, in, in Ohio, and that experience, I, I think, is absolutely crucial. Uh, because Lydia looks at things from the point of view of the local community. She looks at things from the point of view of how the problems a mayor faces, a problems an economic development director, a port authority, somebody in that local community who's trying to bring jobs in, how they look at the world and how the, the challenges that, that, that they face. Um, it is a real joy for me to be governor of the state of Ohio. Uh, this is a, a truly a remarkable state, I think, with a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal future. Uh, and because we're Ohioans, because we're Midwesterners, sometimes we, we just take ourselves for granted. Um, but as someone who, is, who has moved here, maybe who has been transferred from some, some national company that came into Ohio, they didn't know anything about Ohio, maybe they were somewhat reluctant to come, and they get here, and after six months, you couldn't get them out of Ohio. Uh, they love it, and their family loves it. 
a quality of life, a great state to raise your, your kids, a great state to, to be in. We have a, a good business climate in the state of Ohio. Uh, cost of living is low. Work ethic among Ohio workers uh, is literally the best, the, the best in, in, in the world. If you don't believe me, talk to businesses that are in Ohio, but they're also in several other states. They will tell you that Ohio workers are, are by far the, the, the most, most diligent. Um, so a lot of good things, and, and part of it is just the quality of life. Um, Monday was Earth Day. Fran and I had the opportunity to go around and, and uh, look at some of our state parks. Uh, things we've done in the past with our kids and our grandkids, but we did it anew and looked at these anew. And, and whatever part of the state you're in, there's a state park. There's something there to do uh, in regard to, the, to really improve the quality of life. So a lot going on for us. We overlay that now with, with oper these opportunity zones. Um, and it's interesting if you look where the opportunity zones are. I think the key really is that they've been determined locally. We've, we've determined that's locally, uh, where those zones are. Uh, and the zones are not just places that are maybe lagging behind, but they're places where people in the local community have said, if we get a little help, in other words, if it comes that opportunity zone, that area can really thrive, and that area can, can really, really move, move forward. Um, my commitment um, to you is that we will do everything in, we, in our power to help you. We'll do everything in our power to help you advance your local community. Um, if you need the governor to pick up the phone and call a business, we're happy to do that. Um, work with Lydia, work with Director Mihalik, work with Jobs Ohio. Um, we have a tool in Jobs Ohio that we think is a very, very strong tool. Um, it is evolving. It will continue to evolve, but it gives us one more competitive advantage that we have uh, versus, versus other states. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the next uh, hour or so. Uh, we hope you get some good information that is going to be helpful to you and help your community grow. But let me again say, this state, the greatness of this state comes from its people. The greatness of this state comes from its local communities. And those of you who are, and I know we have a number of mayors out there, we have county commissioners out in, in the audience, we have economic development people. Um, you know, use us. Uh, let us. Let us help you. You figure out where you want to go. Uh, we will be there to, to help you, to make the phone calls, to, to do what we can with, with Jobs Ohio, do what we can through DSA. Uh, we will be there to help. So enjoy uh, the next, uh, next couple hours. Uh, again, I hope it's a very, very helpful, and uh, we look forward to working with you in, in the years and uh, years ahead. Thank you very much. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, Governor DeWine. I can tell you that it's a really good time to be, uh, it's a great time to be in state government at this point uh, with Governor DeWine's leadership because he really understands Ohio and its advantages uh, in economic development. And there's really no stronger voice uh, today than Governor DeWine's in championing uh, Ohio's skilled workforce, its strategic location, and its pro-business climate. He promotes our advantages, our advantages to investors, both in Ohio and beyond. And those investors trust Governor DeWine, and they will take a very close look uh, at Ohio, especially in our state's 320 opportunity zones. So when investors follow Governor DeWine's lead to invest in our state, how can we help them understand their investment options within Ohio? And how can you, wherever you are, in Ohio, be sure to gain visibility with those investors. So look, regardless of the size of your community, together we can extend your story to more potential investors than ever before using open source technology enhanced by your input. So Lieutenant Governor John Husted, he leads Innovate Ohio, and in that role, he utilizes technology to increase efficiency and enhance customer service inside of government. 
So it's only fitting that he joins us to show you how we will use technology to build the heart of marketing efforts for Ohio's Opportunity Zones. Lieutenant Governor Husted has provided the leadership for us to develop a platform to share your information about your community's opportunities, and he joins us now to give us a look at this platform. Please welcome Lieutenant Governor John Husted. Hey. Well, good afternoon, and uh, thank you for being here. Uh, the governor said it right about uh, Director Mahalik, that as a mayor, she gets how important every opportunity to attract investment is into a community and how uh, that multiplies in, in creating uh, jobs and opportunity. Uh, I, will, I will say right off, the first time I learned about Opportunity Zones, uh, the potential excited me. I, I knew what it meant with all of the, with all of the uh, unrealized capital gains that are out there in the economy, that here uh, was an opportunity to, to, to redeploy those gains and invest them in the most economically stressed communities in our nation and certainly in our state. But immediately when I learned about it, I thought, okay, what do we do to separate ourselves? How do we make Ohio a, a, a better place, a more attractive place, an easier place to do business? Because think about this in your own lives. Uh, the easier somebody makes it for you to do something, the more likely they are to do it. I, I use this example. How many times have you been online and wanting to buy something and they ask you for more information than you were willing to pr provide or, or they made it difficult for you and you said, ah, I'm going to go do this somewhere else. Well, it, whether you're buying a consumer good or you're deciding to invest money in an opportunity zone, I believe the same principle is true that if we make it easier for people to market themselves and to sell Ohio, they will do it. If we make it easier for investors to understand the opportunities here and make it easier to invest and, and to get a return on the investment, that they are more likely to do it here. And that's the concept behind uh, the portal that we want to discuss today. Um, we're, we're unveiling this new platform uh, to market Ohio's opportunity zones to the investors around the country. And I really believe it, it will give us uh, uh, an advantage, give your communities advantage, collectively give the states advantage in this conversation. So please turn your attention to the screen and take a look at this uh, brief description. On the home page, you'll find three main areas, one for communities, right here, one for specific projects, here, and one for investors, here. Let's talk about these. Economic development leaders, the Communities tab is for you. This is the place you will enter information about your Opportunity Zone. Community name, county, website link. You'll select your census tract number. List public investments and private investments already made, reasons to invest, other important attractive features like hospitals and universities in your Opportunity Zone, and any economic development incentives available, and your contact information. After you hit the green Submit button, you can attach additional info like a prospectus, if you have one, photos, and even videos. Let this be your chance to shine. Here is an example, Ohio City in the Cleveland area, in Cuyahoga County, and here's what it looks like. Project owners, developers, economic development folks, the next tab is for you to highlight individual projects within the Opportunity Zone. Here, you can get really specific about your opportunity. The third button is for investors. Investors can search by census tract, but they're more likely to know the name of the city or county. Perhaps the best feature, they can search by the project type. Maybe they're just interested in a commercial property or mixed use. Here's a project, Cleveland Rocks in Cuyahoga County. Renovation and redevelopment of currently vacant 42,000 square foot Masonic Arts Center into a rock climbing gym, yoga studio, CrossFit gym, as well as a kitchen incubator and test kitchen in the building's basement commercial kitchen space. All right, well, the key for any great resource is whether you take advantage of it. Uh, Ohio 
in the end will be stronger if every community, if every one of you who, who plays a role in this uses this to promote your community, your project, and collectively those uh, add up to a great place uh, to find out more information about every opportunity zone in the state of Ohio. But you got to use it. We created what I believe is a very easy to use resource that can be a uh, central clearinghouse for all of these investments and opportunities in Ohio. So let's take advantage of it.